A 17-year-old senior secondary school student, Abdullahi Tukuraba, has been tortured to death by a group of security operatives codenamed Operation Farauta in Adabawa State. Operation Farauta, which combines personnel of the armed forces, the police and Nigeria Security and Civil Defense Corps, NSCDC, was created to tackle security challenges arising from the Boko Haram invasion of the parts of the state. The outfit is said to have tortured the young lad to death following an allegation that he had received a stolen iPhone 7 belonging to the wife of the executive director of Adamawa State Scholarship Board, Shaibu Wambai Zumo. Commenting on the incident via phone, spokesperson for the police in Adamawa State, SP Suleiman Nguroje, said an investigation into the cause of the death of the minor is ongoing and those found culpable, no matter their status, would be prosecuted. What is that first? Is fish out those that did that act. They should be fish out and deal with according to the law. Nobody is about the law because you are wearing uniform doesn't mean that you can go and do what you are not supposed to do. And it has been known that what they used to do there is that they did with, uh, with civilian matters. Somebody uh, quarrelling with uh, someone because of the girlfriend reported there and then they called the other and did with him. Maybe somebody said, like this is the issue of this one of the team. I want to take someone to the court and then beat somebody there. In the command upon receiving the report, the CP have directed Deputy Commissioner of Police Investigation, who happened to be the one in charge of the highest investigative body to commence investigations. The command equally uh, reached out to the Nigerian army, uh, per se, to see how we can at least harmonize and come together to fish out those that were fingered. Uh, at the wake of yesterday, the report equally came up that the victim who was hospitalized and was receiving treatment died in the course of receiving treatment. Now, investigation has now extended to military experts to equally give us the result of the autopsy that must have been conducted upon the body. Secondly, the person who was said to have accused the victim wrongly was equally invited by the police and the command equally wrote to the Nigerian army or vis-a-vis -vis the head of the operations to provide those guys fingered into this so that together an uh, investigation will be conducted. So I would like to assure members of the public that the command that is saddled with the responsibility of protecting life will not promote or allow somebody to take life. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.